Hi there, folks. It's Big Dog Outdoors. Yesterday, I did do a little fishing. So, I'm going to show you those videos. And please bear with my voice. It is really tore up. Um, the wind was really hard, was blowing really hard out there. And it was making it difficult to find a good fishing spot. Because when you cast out, it would just blow your lines all over the place. So, with that being said... I ain't going to talk much more. And also at the end of my video, I did do um, a little thing with my cast net, caught some shad. Um, so you don't have to be a professional throwing your cast net. It was real simple and easy. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and watch my video. All right, here we go. <laughs> you guys, you probably hear it. Wind howling. I mean, it just howl. Careful. Don't turn around, throw it in the water. I mean, uh, throw the line into the tree. I got a tree about 10 feet from me. That's the kind of fish I'm looking for, folks. These little uh, fellas. Perfect size. Best thing to do is see my real good when you catch it. Bring it up here closer to us. What happened? Those guys, oh, got him, folks. This is the right size, too. Another good one. Got eating anywhere. Our portrait guy's over here. That's where I'm catching my fish. Should have showed you that fish, too. Oh, there he goes again. Got him. Did you guys go? They're really close to shoreline. Well, I love it when they do that. There we go. Uh. 
Got him. That's what we're looking for, folks. Yes, sir. Closer I get. What happened? Well, maybe later. I've done that before. Actually borderline, folks. I think we'll try. Somebody's got their kite out up here. Then we got the bait tank up and running at home, so might as well add some bluegills to it. All right. Get ready. Do some catfishing. Catch a little bit over that way, so we'll have it. Look there, start to reel it up. Uh, he's a little too big. We don't want him real big. I don't want them too small. So, careful, I just start to build that up. It's in the 70 degrees, there we go. Oh, he's fighting hard. Here's a big one. He's in here. Folks, we're not eating the darn thing. As you see, he's a dandy or bluegill, he's bigger. I don't think it's my hand. I usually hit on them with caution because they got them little pointy spine on their back, man, they hurt. Not poisonous, it just, they hurt. He hit that almost as soon as he hit the water. Another big old blue gill there, folks. Try to keep me for food, boy. I've had plenty of them. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a shadow over there. We're going to throw a cast now. I'll show you guys. I had to learn quick. Again, always make sure it's legal. 
I did call the local Fish and Wildlife officer, and he informed me it was, as long as I uh, obeyed the laws. gas net pulls his loop through They look like So I hope my video helped you guys out. Uh, I'm not going to talk very much more because my voice is just tore up. I'm trying to get it back best I can. So with that being said, just want to say thank you guys for watching my videos. And say God bless and good luck in your upcoming hunting and fishing here in 2020. We'll catch you the next time.